Bonjour à tous, and welcome back to the French Tastic Food Channel, the channel where I share with you every week simple family style French cuisine. And this week, it's going to be a different video because we're not going to look at a recipe, but more um, at materials and uh, cookware. One piece of cookware that every French cook has to have in their kitchen is really a cast iron brazier or a Dutch oven. But you have different brands, different qualities, different prices, right? And you're probably wondering what's the difference between a Le Creuset cast iron brazier and a large one. This is exactly what we're going to look into right now. So on this video, I'm going to compare these two pieces of uh, material. Um, we have here a 2.5 quart uh, brazier from Le Creuset and a 3.5 quart uh, brazier from Lodge. So all in all, brazers are very versatile dishes. Uh, you can do a lot of things in them. Uh, recently, I actually cooked a tart tatin in this, uh, in this Le Creuset one. Um, I'll put a link in the description below so you wanna, if you want to see how I, I made that. So today, I have to compare these two. Um, originally, I wanted to get myself a new brazier and I searched the internet and I saw um, my beloved French brands, Le Creuset and Stobe, and they were for that size, they were about $300. And by looking at Amazon and other website, I actually found the Lodge. Um, that's a brand that I didn't know about, um, made in China, but for about eighty dollars. And the big, big, big difference in price, I had a kind of a um, difficulty understanding here. So. Um, Originally, I have to say, I bought this one, and then later on uh, at the Le Creuset outlet close to my house, I found this slightly smaller one for about $140, so it was kind of a bargain. I bought it also, and so now I have the two, and I thought, well, maybe that's a good thing to make a good comparison and share with you guys. Okay, so... Um, uh, here they are. I think the first thing I want to say, um, I was actually pleasantly surprised by the large uh, brazier. Um, to be honest, being French, I was totally biased towards uh, brands like Le Creuset or Stobe. Uh, I have a couple of uh, couple of pieces of uh, Stobe cookware, and this is my go-to thing. To be honest, those are my go-to brands. Um, but the difference in price pushed me towards the large um, originally. And as I said, pleasantly surprised here. First thing I want to talk to you about is the shape. Um, so let me let me show you this. Here um, you have a shape with some sort of a kind of a squarish bottom. Uh, it's a lot more square here on the lodge than it is on the Le Creuset. You can see here it's a little bit rounder uh, at the very bottom. You know what? I don't think that makes a big difference. Uh, people will tell you, hey, that gives a, actually a little bit more flat surface area at the very bottom of the lodge compared to Le Creuset. That doesn't, doesn't make a big difference to me. On the outside still, a um, couple of things and a couple of differences. Um, the first thing is uh, the, the handles. So you can see here on the lodge, uh, they are flat and they are actually larger than what you have on the Le Creuset. Uh, Le Creuset are a little bit um, larger, uh, but you can only put like two, three fingers where you can actually comfortably put the, the four fingers through on the lodge. Um, so I would, put, I would give a point here to the lodge. The other thing, let me show you this. Um, the large uh, handles are flat as opposed to the, uh, the Le Creuset ones. And that makes it easier if you want to turn something uh, upside down, um, you'll have a flat surface. So again, another point here on the handles for the large. Now, let's talk about one uh, topic of questions, discussions for the Le Creuset. 
the knob. So for those uh, those of you who know Le Creuset, you might actually notice that this is not the original knob. Uh, this is the original knob. So uh, when I bought this one here, um, you have this kind of a plasticky uh, knob here. The one thing I need to say is this baby here can stand very high temperature already. It's We're talking about 500 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Um, so you shouldn't be concerned about uh, heating uh, and putting this brazier in the oven with this knob. The good thing about this, it will remain cold even out, uh, t uh, just right out of the oven. It will, well, cold, colder than the rest of the dish. Um, and that is a that is a good thing, a really good thing. On the lodge, you do have a metal knob uh, right out of the box, so you don't have to add a, an additional cost. It's 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 a, an another good point here. So some of you may ask the question, what about the weight? Uh, unfortunately, I have two different sizes here, so I won't be able to comment on this. Alright, so uh, now we've looked at the uh, external aspect, let's open these two babies. Ooh, here we go. Okay, so the first thing you will notice is actually um, how smooth or not so smooth uh, these, uh, these animal is. And I have to say, the quality of the animal on the uh, on the Le Creuset is absolutely amazing. It is absolutely perfect, and it's it's so smooth. And you don't have that smoothness on the uh, on, on the lodge. Unfortunately, uh, you you can you can clearly see a very very neat difference. Um, the other thing I have to say is um, you can see um, you can actually see the cast iron through the animal on the uh, on the lodge and uh, this is not this is definitely not something you can do on the Le Creuset so this this might actually explain uh, the difference in, in in quality and the difference of price eventually um, but I have to say here uh, the animal on the lodge is a notch uh, below what you can see on the on the Le Creuset so kudos and point to the Le Creuset on that one that being said, does that make a difference on a daily basis, on the quality of the cooking of the... I'm not quite sure I can say that. But... Um, so the first thing uh, I have to say, the Le Creuset is actually uh, less flat uh, than, the, uh, than the Lodge. Um, it's a little bit curvy here, kind of a bell, uh, bell, uh, bell shape um, a lid. Um, you can see here it's pretty obvious um, the let me do this right here yeah you can you can see it's kind of flat here um, as opposed to uh, this shape here where you have a little bit more curve um, what does that mean I'm not quite sure I would say you have more space for um, steam in the Le Creuset that you will have on the lodge um, which could be a good thing as a matter of fact on the lid, also, um, another tiny little detail, but that could actually make a big difference, is uh, there's a lip here uh, all around the lid, and that lip is actually bigger, um, uh, deeper than on the Le Creuset than it is on the Lodge. And um, so what that means is the seal um, to keep the, 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 the steam in might actually not be as good on the uh, lodge than on the Le Creuset. Um, so here you have a very thin lip. That being said, when you put the lid on, there's very little wiggle room here for the lodge. Now let me show you this. You have a lot more, a lot more wiggle room for the Le Creuset. There's only one way to say uh, which one of these is better is to update this comparison uh, in the future.
just the last word about the finish. I mean, these two pieces of cookware are absolutely beautiful. Um, but I have to say, um, the Le Creuset is absolutely stunning. It's perfect. It's so smooth everywhere, as opposed to this orange peel that you can find on the lodge. That being said, again, this is a very nice piece of cookware. Um, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this, um, this brazier for uh, quite some time. Et voilà, pour finir, we've looked at everything, right? Uh, the outside, the inside. Um, it, it's difficult to make a, a decision on which one is the best. Um, Obviously, being French, uh, I was biased towards Le Creuset or, or Stove, those traditional French brands, but I was pleasantly surprised by this, this lodge. That's true, it's made in China. I had a question, I had a big question mark on the quality that would get, um, but it is made um, following US standards, so it's really reassuring. Um, so in my conclusion would be, if you only have um, $80 and you want a really good brazier, um, there's nothing wrong about the lodge, uh, go for it. Um, it's good quality, so it seems. Um, if you have a little bit more money in your pocket and you want something that is absolutely flawless, absolutely perfect, spotless, and you want the brand, go for Le Creuset. Um, you have this amazing range of colors also, and uh, so um, it's really up to you again. So I hope this comparison was uh, helpful for you. Um, we have two, again, two very beautiful pieces of cookware. It's really up to you whether you want to invest a little bit more on the Le Creuset or something that is still very solid, robust, is the lodge. Um, if um, you have any comment or reaction to what I just said or any further question, please uh, leave a comment below. I'd be happy to answer these questions. And one last thing, uh, I usually make a simple family-style French cuisine on this channel. If you wanna um, stick around and be notified each time I upload a new video, don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell next to the subscribe button. And if you like this type of comparison, please uh, give this video a thumbs up. In the meantime, um, it's goodbye from me, à très bientôt, au revoir.